OMG. Oh. Welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. So, what are we making? We're going to make some chili. And this chili is like, I don't know, it's like a thousand bean chili. I don't know. Ten beans. I'm not even sure how many beans are in this chili. It's uh, this bag of uh, chili mix right here. And uh, it's just a slow cooker, chili slow cooker. The beans, of course, aren't, aren't even cooked yet, which I prefer. And we're going to do it on the Blackstone and in the Instapot. And then, oh my goodness, it's going to be amazing. Let's go ahead, go over our groceries, see what we're going to be making here, what ingredients, and try to figure this thing out because uh, I'm just winging it. Okay, like I said, we, are, uh, we have this chili mix here. And it's a slow cooker. Beans aren't cooked, of course. And um, I'm not even sure how many beans are in here, but there's like, you know, I see five beans just right here. Pinto and some black beans and some whatever else beans. But uh, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna, go, I'm gonna go through the beans here before I uh, throw them in the Instapot and look for any debris, some rocks or whatever, and, sift out the bad beans. And then we're just gonna do a little quick rinse on them is all. Um, meat, right? I do have uh, some Wagyu ground beef right here. And um, we're gonna ground that up on the Blackstone and get that going. But also I made a roast yesterday that was absolutely amazing. And I had about a little under a pound of roast left over, not even quite a pound. And we're going to throw that in with that ground beef. And oh my goodness gracious, it's going to be delicious. I have some um, beef broth here. About four cups, a little over four cups. We're going to throw that in there when we're ready. A whole, just yellow onion, a uh, whole jalapeno seeds, and all we're going to throw in there. A green pepper, dice that up. And uh, we're going to put all those in with the beans as they're under pressure. And throw some seasoning in there. The ground beef, as I'm cooking it, I'm doing this Cajun-style all-purpose seasoning. Um, so about a teaspoon of uh, cumin I'll be putting in with the beans. A teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. And about a teaspoon of onion powder. Paprika, smoked paprika, about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Chili powder, I'm guessing about a tablespoon to, you know, tablespoon and a half of this, whatever that equals out to be, like three teaspoons, roughly. And then that's going to be all put, oh, most important special ingredient, okay? Don't tell anybody, but uh, we have some red pepper, crushed red peppers that we're going to be putting in there. And I'm just going to douse that, maybe a teaspoon, a little bit more, whatever you decide to. And then we're going to go ahead and put it under pressure for about an hour. And then um, I'm going to check it. The beans take about an hour to, uh, you know, to cook when it's uh, under pressure. Like that, I'm going, to, I'm going to take it off after an hour. We're going to add in our tomatoes. I have some diced tomatoes, seasoned diced tomatoes, green chilies. We're going to put a little can of that in there. That's the small can of the 10 ounces. Um, I probably could have went with a bigger can, but that's okay. Um, I went ahead. I'm going to throw in a can of tomato sauce. And then about three, a couple tablespoons of this uh, tomato paste. Garlic. Oh, yeah, I forgot my garlic. Um, don't have any fresh garlic, but we have this stuff here, this uh, minced garlic. We'll throw in a, I don't know, I like a lot of garlic. I'll grab a big old huge heap and tablespoon of that stuff. And that is that. Let's go ahead, get this ground beef cooked up, and we'll get this uh, Instapot started and going so we can make some amazing chili. We are putting it under light, just like that. But we're calling that. We're done. 
Let's pick out the bad beans. And uh, then we're going to just toss it into the water mix. Doesn't have to be, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, it is. Oh, there we go. So here we go. So there is what I'm talking about right there. That is a rock, a little rock. And you always want to check your beans. And that's why we check them. Um, get those things out. I don't trust that one. And uh, we're going to dice up some onions. Do a jalapeno. Let's turn on this Instapot. We're going to go to a saute. Turn the saute button on there. And uh, we'll saute these up just a tad. And okay, let's go ahead and hit the saute button. Okay. And then we're going to hit start. And we're just going to kind of cook that stuff up a little bit. Um, I am going to put a little bit of oil in there. Let's go ahead, drop a little bit of uh, olive oil on the bottom there, a couple tablespoons or teaspoons, whatever you want to put in there, just some green peppers, onion. Get all those seeds in there, those are deliciousness. Then we're just gonna get those a little wet because they start to sweat a little bit. And that's about a pound of beef right there. And the main, I wish I had more left over, but it was so good last night, this roast that I made. And we're gonna drop that roast in there. Let's go ahead and do this. I have four cups, four or five cups, four and a half cups of this broth, and it's a beef broth. Just drop all that in there. Stir that up. And I might go ahead and add a little bit more of that broth. I think I'm gonna add some more broth into this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two more cups of broth. Alright, so I got a couple more cups of uh, beef broth here. And what I'm using here is this better than bouillon. It's just, I just want to make sure there's enough moisture in here because once I start this pressure, uh, there's no going back. Do that. Let's go ahead and grab these beans. I'm going to drain these beans, rinsed beans. Go ahead and add those in there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This will be interesting to see when this is all done. Mix that all up. Uh, let's go ahead and add some seasonings. I'm not sure what that is. Um, let's add some seasonings, some, some uh, flakes, pepper flakes. I'm going about a teaspoon of pepper flakes. It's going to be a little spicy. Not too bad, though. Let's go through those motions here. A little bit of cumin. And we're going to go about a teaspoon of cumin. What I'm going to do after I cook this in an hour is I'm going to add my um, tomatoes and stuff. And then I'm going to let that simmer for quite a bit, maybe another hour and a half. But um, when you're doing it without the Instapot, you're basically, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna take you, you could, you know, soak your beans overnight and all that stuff. But when it's like this, there's no need. About a teaspoon, roughly, of garlic powder, onion powder, 
Same thing, about a teaspoon of onion powder. A little bit more. And a teaspoon of smoked paprika. About a teaspoon of that. Good stuff, a little bit more. And then we're gonna go with some chili powder. We're gonna go a couple teaspoons of chili powder. A little bit more. Give this a mix. Um, um, gosh, this, I can eat it like this. As, uh, when I was sauteing that stuff is a good amount of this garlic. I did clean that spoon before I stuck it in my garlic. All right, there we go. Mix that up. Um, what else? It's kind of weird making this without my sauces. There we go. Let's go ahead and cover this up, you guys. And um, All right, most of these have like a venting um, button on the back. Mine is an automatic. It's, it's, um, it's on seal. So we don't have to worry about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel the saute. We're gonna go pressure cook. And we're gonna go for an hour, uh, definitely an hour. Uh, and then this is an automatic. This is such a nice one. We got it on high. One hour, reminders off, and that's it. So now we're just gonna hit start. We're gonna let it pressurize, and it's gonna take a minute to pressure, and then uh, it's gonna be an hour after that. We're gonna we'll get, get this built up, the pressure built, and then uh, let it cook for an hour, like I said, and we'll get back to it and add some more deliciousness to it and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So we'll be right back. Hang tight, go take a break, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Me, an hour, I'm gonna blast some music out here. Feed these feral cats if in the background. Those, they're hungry, they're, they're, they're asking for food right now. Those are my feral cats. They're, they don't go in the house, you can't even pet them, but they keep the critters away from here like the snakes and mice and rats or whatever that's out here that aren't, that it, they don't need to be here. So get back to you here shortly. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the beans. Okay, um, they've been on an hour under pressure and they should be uh, ready to add some tomatoes and, and sauce and paste and We'll mix it up, let it warm up, and then I'm gonna give it a taste to see how the seasonings uh, took. And, uh, and we'll let it go for probably another hour of just kind of simmering there and cooking in all those good juices. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, release the pressure on this. Okay. Who look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm going to taste this now to see what it's like before I add all the rest of this ingredients in here. Just this like this is just amazing, I'm sure. I'll grab a couple beans because that's more what I'm worried about is those beans. They are done. Mm. Wow. Huh. Oh. Huh. Absolutely amazing, just like it is. There we go. Some tomatoes. Probably could have did more tomatoes than that. We are going to add some tomato sauce. Let's just go ahead and add the whole thing, just because. That was actually a perfect amount. Six cups of, uh, of the broth was, I think, a perfect amount. Let's add a little bit of paste. And a couple tablespoons here. 
That's enough. Look at this. That's some good chili right there. Now we're going to let this simmer and it'll thicken up a little bit more for about an hour. And I'll keep an eye on it. We'll be back to this here in a minute. All right, so what I did on here, and I don't know if you can see that without reflection, is I put it on a slow cook. And uh, it's on for an hour, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. I've never used the slow cook on here before, but I want to kind of let that slow cook a little bit more. But I'm going to keep an eye on it, and we'll get back to how that works. Okay, you guys, this has been setting here for about an hour and 20 minutes. So the longer it sits, the just more it's just going to be actually amazing. So um, like I said, I had it like on a slow cook. But take a look at this chili. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and dish this up in a bowl. Oh, 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 my goodness. Shut up. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to put some toppings on this. So toppings. You know, one thing I was thinking about um, when I went to the store to grab some sour cream is that... Uh, the toppings, right? And um, you can have all different types of toppings. And the one thing that I I went um, I was thinking of is some um, like pickled jalapenos would be absolutely amazing. Definitely have to have some cheese. A little bit of cheese. If you like raw onions. Good to put raw onions on top. Get a little crunch on those onions. And then um, crackers. I'm gonna grab like uh, three crackers here. I'm just gonna crunch those up like that. And then sour cream. Some hot sauce if you want hot sauce. Um, this isn't that spicy, but it's got a kick to it, but some people don't like spiciness. And we're going to make a little design. Look at that. Take a look at that. It's not the most prettiest chili in the world, is it? But we're going to try this. Okay, there you go. Check this out, you guys. Oh, my goodness. OMG. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Um, hot sauce. I like a lot of hot sauces. Um, I did just bought a couple more hot sauces because all my hot sauces are gone um, and all that. So I don't have much here. So I have a few. Um, but, you know, some type of a good chili sauce would be, you know, is always good. Like when I go to Wendy's, I like Wendy's chili. And I always add a barbecue sauce and one of their chili sauces. And they're, uh, it turns out really, really good. So let's give this a try and see uh, how I rate what I just made. Look at that. That's that beef. I don't know if you can see that strand. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good. Ooh, I like it a little spicier, but oh my goodness. Not too spicy. But it's good. You know, is it one of my best chilies? It's just different because I have a certain chili I make homemade, kind of, sort of homemade. It's out of cans. That is top notch. 
this is a different. It's got a different heat. It has, you know, different beans in it. And it has that, um, the roast in it that makes it absolutely amazing. Um, but it gives a good after, a after kick, which I'm liking. This is not bad. This is really, really good. And I, if I had some um, pickled jalapenos in there, ooh. But this, like this, is just amazing. Pickled jalapenos would make it even up above amazing. And then, you know, maybe a tad of some good hickory barbecue sauce in there, like a t tablespoon or two. And um, there you go. Mmm. Actually, actually really good. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you liked my content. New stuff coming. And um, going to do a lot of changing. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. That's really good. I'm liking the, um, the little kick afterwards. Um, what was I going to say here? Um, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you like my content. And uh, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment what kind of chili you like. How do you make your chili? This was this is interesting. Instapot chili. It's um it's not bad. I was kind of wondering how it was gonna come turn out, but uh pretty good. Um what else? I'm doing a lot of ums here. Um We're gonna make some leftovers. And the, the leftovers here is gonna be amazing. Um might have a little sneak preview of that thing, but it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. I'm back. Thank you for watching once again. Go buy somebody a coffee, you know, um, and uh, go share some love around the world because we need it. Love you. Thank you again, and I'll see you on the next cook.